Question number three. No, I get to ask you one. Well, you can ask me the same as this, but this one's important. At our team meeting the other night, Victor debuted the Ask the Pool Guy rap experience. I would like to know what are your thoughts around that? Hmm. I was surprised, to say the least. I've never been a rap music kind of guy. I never got it, never understood it. And when someone says they rap, which is what Victor's passion is, he loves to rap, and I love the kid, he's a great guy. But that idea of what rapping is, other than just a, maybe it's just a beat or something that, that I never quite understood. But recognizing most of the people that have become popular with rap, there's been that sinister side, there's been that dark side, there's been that whatever, and maybe that's what's pushed me away from it. But what Victor did was, he brought out the philosophy of who you are, who I am, who our company is. It wasn't about vacuuming a swimming pool so that it's clean. It was about the essence of who we are as people that vacuum the pool to get it clean. And he talked, the, the story is all about that richness of, of being human, but putting it in this art form that, that's foreign to me. I've never been excited about rap music and never listened to it, but to hear the words and the play on the words and the way they use the words and it's it's this constant mind twist it's this constant what is he saying there there's a double entendre in half of what's being said it doesn't mean what it's what it, what's right out in front it's understanding the culture of the company and realizing that what it means is all the background of who we are so i thought that was just sensational and we only heard it that twice. I haven't heard it since. But those two times, I just, in my mind, I couldn't tell you the beat. I couldn't tell you the anything about it other than knowing that the words fully represent what we stand for. What about you when it comes to that? What was your first impression? What was your first thought? And what, more importantly, when we talked about it and Victor said he would do the pool guy rap, what would what did you think it would be and and was it what did it turn out to be what you thought or expected or wondered it would do it if, if it would be when the thought of doing the pool guy rap first came up it was something that we mentioned at a team meeting because in the industry somebody a couple of years ago had put together a catchy pool guy cleaning rap about cleaning about swimming pool. pools just mm -hmm. in general and I thought at the time, if we had any skill, it would have been clever to do like a rap battle or a response, a response song, right. to the song that had come out. And we had a meeting with an interesting, you know, meld of people that are on our team this year. So I brought up the idea half jokingly. One of the things that we do from time to time is we find out what the people that work with us do in their spare time or do as a hobby. And through an interesting series of events, I think we discovered that Victor liked rapping because... Can I stop you right there? Sure. You know where we learned about him liking rapping? Where? In his interview. <clears throat> we asked him in his interview, yeah, what true. do you love to do? What yeah. is your thing? Yeah. And he looked at us and he said, well, music, but and he was kind of apprehensive to answer yeah. And then he said... I write and sing rap. He did. Yeah. And then he gave Joanna a ride to a job site. And when they were riding in the car, Joanna said it was the first time she'd ever met him. She hopped in so she could get out to the pirate pool. And he had a CD in. And she was just listening to the CD. He thought it was like any other CD ever that you'd listen to in the car. And then I think when the song was over, Victor had kind of subtly said, you know, what did you think? It, that was me. So that reinforced this, he likes rap music, he's put a CD together, and I did ask Joanna, I'm like, was it any good? And she said, yeah, it was. Because she couldn't tell that it wasn't playing on the radio. So 
when we brought it up, I thought it would be more of a group project, and as it turns out, it tapped into a skill and desire that Victor has. So he said, I'd like to take that on, and he did. And then some time passed, not really thinking anything of it. He came back and said, I've got it, and I'd like to record it for you, Sweet. which was another surprise because I thought he would just, you know, read it and perform it here in the office, and that's as far as it would go. So when he said he wanted to record it, I was more intrigued, and sure, why not? We'll try anything. And when he brought it in, I was blown away. I really was. I had no idea, number one, that he absorbed so much in the short time that we'd known him. And yeah, he came on board with us this year. He jumped right in and is doing great. And he's cleaning pools and he's enthusiastic and he's learning construction. What I heard in the song, though, is he's absorbing our certain way and it's becoming part of his way. And I think that was very apparent. And everybody that I've played the song for so far that has not been at the meeting loves it. They think it's great. And so at first glance, it's surprising. And then listening to it, it's inspiring. And I'm pretty blown away. Yeah. Well, you know what I, what was interesting about Victor when we first met him, when we interviewed him together, sitting there asking him questions about kind of where you're at in life and what do you want to do and what, what are your thoughts. And he had talked about how the power of intentions and the, the law of attraction and these words that have resonated with us for so long. And here's this young guy trying to find his way, trying to figure out what the next move in his life is. And he's talking like that. So I think, I think from the beginning, both, and I, both you and I, liked him for that reason alone, is that his attitude was right, that he was willing to learn, he was willing to jump in because he saw something greater than himself. And I think that's what that video, or that the, the rap says to me about Victor, is that he recognizes that there's more to life than himself. And he's paying attention to the, the, the inner yummy of life, because what he shared was very much our certain way and how we live our lives and how we talk about our lives and how we embrace the, the better parts of life because it's always a choice and that's that's a beautiful thing that he's seeing that each part is a choice because I know what he had talked about to me about doing rap was it was a, helping him to figure himself out by writing a song which we know songwriters we know a lot of people that have performed it's really about inner work if you're doing it for the pure love and joy of it, it's about healing self, working on self. And he's one of those that obviously has been doing the work at a young age. You know, this isn't a 40-year-old guy finally trying to figure his freaking life out. This is a young 20-some-year-old kid going, I want to make it in life and I want my life to be better as a result. And so I likewise was blown away just that the, the whole experience was amazing.